Hi, I'm Ben Metelopor, and in this short video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to T-Cuddle. T-Cuddle is a CLI tool which you use for administering your cluster. This video is going to focus primarily on people using our hosted version of Teleport Cloud, but the same applies if you're a um, person deploying our open source edition. T-Cuddle can be ran on the same machine as your auth server as a sort of admin tool, but you can also run it locally in this case. For example, for Teleport Cloud, we don't give you access to the auth server box, but we let you change the configuration options using tcuddle. In our CLI reference, we have a full overview of uh, how you can use it and what the flags are. If you're using Teleport Cloud to get installed, you may have installed the open source edition. If I go tcuddle, version, bump up my terminal here. You can see I'm on uh, 923. It's also important to ma make sure that your teleport and tcuddle version match, um, at least especially for major versions. But if you're using teleport cloud, you want to be using our enterprise edition. You can get this from our cloud downloads page. tcuddle is only available on Linux and Mac. So I'm going to download our Mac package here. To... So now I'm going to install it. And you can see this has uh, hyphen ENT, which means it, it's our enterprise version because Teleport Cloud runs um, the enterprise version of Teleport. Install it. Okay, installation's complete. Now I come back to my terminal. And you can see I'm now running Teleport Enterprise. You can get away with using uh, Teleport and Tcuddle Enterprise, the Community Edition with your Enterprise version, but I'd recommend just using Enterprise from the get-go. This will ma make sure you don't run into any issues using any of our Enterprise features, such as adding a OIDC or SAML connector. One of the first things you want to do, though, um, is we need to... I'm just going to log out, and I'm going to log into our clusters. So if I was to do tcuddle uh, tokens ls, for example, you might see there's permission denied. This is because tcuddle doesn't have any access to the cluster. So what you need to do is first log into your cluster. And this is my teleport cloud, it has .sh, and I'm using the GitHub auth. OK, it's been successful. And now I'm logged in, so I can do, for example, TSH LS. I don't have any nodes added yet, but if I do um, tcuddle tokens LS, you can see I now have access to all of the commands for tcuddle. Let me just resize this a bit to make it a little bit easier for you to view, see it. So what can you do with tcuddle? There is the dash dash help, which is a great overview of all the commands that you can use and run. At the top, we have the optional flags. Um, if you wanted to pick a different auth server or change the config. The, these are the range of commands. So a common action, if you want to add a local user, you can use uh, tcuddle users add. And then if you don't have all of the commands, it will tell you what to do. So for example, if I add a user, I have to make sure that I have roles and then the name. So let's say if I wanted to invite Joe, I would get this invite link and I could send this to Joe and he could join the cluster. Another command that I think is very helpful is our get command. This is for printing a YAML of all the resources. So let me get, get help. You can get the clusters or you can get users. So this is a list of all of my users. And this can be very helpful if you wanted to, let's say, if a user is locked, you can um, 
get this config. Let's see, I'll show you how to do this. So let's say I wanted to lock the Russell Jones user. What I would do is I'd use tcuddle get users R Jones, which is the name of the metadata, and then I write out to R Jones.yaml. Then I can edit R Jones.yaml. Let's say I change it back true. And then you do tcuddle create dash f r jones and this will update the r jones user so if we do uh, get our users again you can see that the russell jones user has now been locked and there's also an audit log of this spec so it was updated by me because i logged in as my user when i got my initial certificates okay let's look at another command Another useful tool is to use our um, access request, which is an enterprise only feature. I don't have any here, but you can use this to get the ID and you can use access request to approve or deny or create one or delete them. Another thing you may want to do is um, create our GitHub auth. We have documentation here on creating up the single sign on. And what you do here is you do the same thing. You create the GitHub connector using a YAML file, similar to when we locked the user, and then you use create GitHub. If you were to update it, you'd use the dash F flag. And then you can also update your authentication preferences in a cap.yaml file. And there's sort of information here on how you change it. So you change the auth type to GitHub. And then if you wanted to have the optional Second factor, in addition to GitHub, you would turn on WebAuthn, and this would be the URL of your proxy. And then you can log out, and then you can log in again using GitHub authentication for Teleport Cloud. I think this is a good overview of using tcuddle. Sort of scratch the surface of everything that is possible. If you have any questions or comments on using tcuddle, either in our cloud, enterprise, or community edition, please reach out to us in our Slack room. We have our channel here, um, and we're more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.